bed, don't be shy Jolene can't wait to meet you For a trailer park Christmas The trailer park way With a brand new recipe Every day Sending videos from her trailer She's Jolene Sugar Baker. She is Jolene Sugar Baker. Come and spend the holidays the trailer park trailer way. Park Merry trailer park Merry Christmas. Trailer park Christmas. Merry trailer park Christmas. Hooray! Well, hi there, trailer park fans. It's Jolene Sugar Baker, the trailer park queen, and welcome to the trailer park test kitchen. And welcome to Trailer Park Christmas 2019, where I'm showing you how the trailer park celebrates the holiday. Well, I'm so excited. There's been multiple days, multiple recipes, and a calendar that you can follow along on TrailerParkChristmas.com. And I see today that it says cream cheese candy. And this is a great candy that you can make. And today, we're going to be making tea berry cream cheese candy. And I'm going to get laters. Jolene, I cannot find tea berry. Well, I tracked down an Amish person that had it. And you too can track down some sort of exotic flavor to make your cream cheese candy with. And I can't wait to hear about that too. But I'm going to show you how to make cream cheese candy up next on Trailer Park Christmas 2019. I'll be right back. Welcome back! Making my cream cheese candy is really fun and simple too. It also saves on money because everyone likes to have fancy things out on little candy dishes at the holiday or maybe even at a wedding. You could use this any time of year. I've got three ounces of cream cheese here and what we're going to do is I'm using tea berry extract here and I know that I'm going to get letters asking where did I find it? I found it at an Amish Mart, and I used to like a tea berry gum, but they don't make it anymore. They do make tea berry ice cream, and it's of the wintergreen family, so it's kind of minty, but I do, I, I grew up on tea berry, and I just love the flavor. But you could use almond extract, or maybe uh, vanilla, or peppermint, or I can't wait to hear what you're going to use in your candy, so leave a comment down at the bottom. But what I need is one four teaspoon of that, right on into the cream cheese and I'm gonna mix it into the cream cheese until it's well blended so I'll check back with you in just a moment okay we have our extract in our cream cheese and I'm gonna add a little bit of food coloring there maybe some green to this that'll look real pretty and we're gonna use a total of three cups of powdered sugar, but I've got one and a half cups here, and we're just gonna blend this into the cream cheese mixture, and we're gonna have to knead in the rest of this. So let me work with this. This is gonna take a while, and I'll check back with you in just a moment. Okay, now that we have worked that one and a half cups in, we're gonna get the rest of the powdered sugar in, but we're gonna have to knead this together and um, make sure your hands are clean, no cat hair, no rings. You are touching holiday fun right here. And what you're gonna do is you're just gonna start kneading it together and it's gonna be kind of messy, uh, but you're just gonna have to get all that powdered sugar right in there. And you're probably gonna use the spatula a little bit too. So I'll check back with you in just a moment. Okay, there we go. We have a dough that we've made here, and what we're going to do is pinch off maybe about a tablespoon of that, and we are going to roll that in a ball here, and what we're going to do is just dump that in some sugar here, and just coat that. Look at that. That looks nice and snowy, and you can use some wax paper, or maybe I'm using a plate here just to show you, and I'm going to take a fork and press it down like that once and then twice and it makes a nice crisscross pattern there looks like a nice little patty but I'm gonna make a whole bunch of those and I'll check back with you in just a moment this is so exciting I can't wait to make a whole bunch of different colors too and there you have it my cream cheese candy and look at that 
my tea berry cream cheese candy. And I know I'm going to get letters that you can't find tea berry, and that's okay. That's what was on my list to do, but you can use any kind of flavoring, and I can't wait to hear down at the bottom about what you're going to use. But I can't wait to try this. We rolled them in sugar, and we made them a nice pretty green, and look at that. We did a crisscross pattern, and they just look so pretty. These would look great at any event or on your buffet table, so let me see what this tastes like. Mmm, that tea berry flavor, so good, and it tastes like eating icing out of the can, but um, so good. Um, very indulgent. I hope you get a chance to make these very creamy, and they just taste so homemade, and cream cheese candy, and send me pictures at joleanesugarbaker at gmail.com. Follow me all over the place. I'm on Instagram. I'm on Pinterest. I'm on Facebook, and of course, download the free calendar so you can follow along because I see tomorrow that it says, give me a quiche because we've got a great quiche that's easy to make. Up next on Trailer Park Christmas, I'll see you tomorrow. Merry Trailer Park Christmas. Bye-bye. Slap on all your blue eyeshadow. Watch out for that big tornado. Get all filled with pride in the double wide.